in a few weeks. Oh, fuck contents. Come on, little bit long. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm back. I go quick on that. Hello, Brendos121, and yes, after an ungodly long hiatus, I will be back. Sorry that took so long. I've been busy and have had a lot of problems because of like trying to get videos, trying to motivate myself. But that is done. I'm back and I've given my create some new content. So, how am I going to do that? Well, quite easy. The new show. So, what is this new show? Quite simply, it's called Gaming on a Budget. I really don't have much money, but I still want to do some gaming, so I want to see what really is out there when it comes to the free gaming market. What am I looking at today though? Quite easy. It's one of my favorite games that I found in this free to play market. Quite frankly, it's called Eternally Us. This game is mind-boggling about how amazing, how deep, how how wonderful it really is for a free-to-play game. But let's dive in into the core reasons why I adore Tenelius. The plot to Tenelius is quite simple. Your name is Amber, and while having a lovely day at the park with Theo, well, a demon purse out of the door in the fabric of space and time. Yeah, that happened. Your quest is to find Theo, go to several puzzles and several stages in order to uncover the truth and to hopefully find Theo. Okay, now let's actually move on to a review aspect of this. Now, I chose to tell me this as my first review because I really, really love this game. However, one small problem. Atelier has a lot I want to say about it, but very little I want to say about it as well. I don't want to ruin this game. I really want people to play this game. But let's break down some of the core aspects. Atelier is a point and click adventure game and has a very beautiful art style. I adore the backdrops to this and the character designs were really nice to look at. Especially that little demon guy. He was so well designed, and the voice complemented him perfectly. Amber and Fia's voice actresses were also really well done. Many of the backdrops, like the gargoyles or the trees, were fantastically implemented. But really, those are just minor parts of the game. The reason I adore Eternally Us, it's a story. And the quickest way to sum that up is remember the scene from Up the Montage? It's like that in game format. This game clocks in around 10 minutes. It's really short. But I adore it. And I demand that anyone who hears this review go out, download the game, link in the description below. Because it is really moving. It deals with the Status of grief and something I can personally relate to, and it's just amazingly implemented. The characters feel genuine, the grief really does hit you, and if you can complete this game without shedding a manly tear, you are heartless. I really would like people play this game, it is by far the best free to play game. So, what's my final verdict on Lieutenant Leos? Well, with its amazing pacing, amazing characters, fantastic art, and overall really, really enriching experience, this gets my final verdict of play it. I do implore you to play this game, and thanks for watching the video. I have something up 
hopefully in either next week or the week after. But keep on gaming, chat in a bit.